Welcome to the first game of the night in the MSL. Scarborough Sharks are taking on the WA Eagles. And going through the lineups for the Scarborough Sharks, for Andrew stays in. The captain wears number six. He starts alongside brother Matthew, who stays in wearing nine. Brandon Prince, the number five, six, nine. And David Craig, the number 14. On the bench for the Sharks, Asher Alson, the number 23. Amir Fedebegovic, the number 16. And Massimo Basolo, the number 12. Ethan Hardy starts in between the sticks. And for the WA Eagles, it's Muslim Al Muhammad in goal, wearing the number one. Baka Al Karahuli, the captain, wearing number five. Muhammad Tachanchi, the number seven. Omid Ishraq in the number four. And Tristan Parry, the number six. And on the bench for the Eagles, it's Maysam Kanani, wearing the number 19. Altai Jarja, the number 13. And Lloyd Hopkins wearing number 17. As that one goes behind, it's a WA Eagles corner. Ishragian walks to the ball to take. Calls out the set play, gives it to Tachanchi. Now Zayed at the back. Finds Ishragian in the center. A bit of a loose pass, almost gives it away, but Parry's there to clean it up. Ishragian back to Parry. And now Mohamed Tachanchi trying to find Parry with the ball. He's gotten beyond Craig, who Recovers with the challenge, but he caught Parry late. And it's a free kick in the center of the court for the WA Eagles. Baka al Karahuli standing over this one to attempt to put the first shot on Hardy's goal. Tatanchi looking inside the area. Parry to the right, a shrugging on the left. Zayed has found the gap. It somehow stayed out, though. Hardy helped it onto the post and got a bit fortunate. Now he sparked the counter-attack for the Sharks, who stays in, has his effort blocked. It did look like it went in from my angle on the stream, but the referee not buying it, as that one by Prananu stays in it, going wide off the target. The Shrug in. Tries to skip beyond Brandon who stays in, who wins it back for the Sharks, but gives it away immediately to Parry. His pass lets him down, and it's a turnover going the way of the men in blue. Who stays in? Upfield to Prince. Back down the line to Brandon who stays in. Prince on it again. Who stays in? Parallel flick. Prince is on his right foot this time, and played it off to Tunchi. The Sharks will get it back. Who stays in inside the area? It's fallen to Craig, who lays off Matt, who stays in. Toe pokes it toward the target, but the WA Eagles stand resolute and send it behind. Another corner to come for Scarborough. Up the line to Prince, who hits it wide off the goal. Harry comes to the bench. It's Maysam Kanani on for his first stint of the match. To Tunchi to Kanani. Now here's a shrug in. Al Karahuli on the near side. Cross court ball to Tunchi. Looks to go one on one with who stays in. But just running out of real estate on the left wing. The Sharks are going to get the ball back here. Prince to who stays in. Centering ball to Craig. Craig turns well beyond Kerr, beyond Al Karahuli. And Al Muhammad got a touch on that one to make sure it was going behind. A corner to come for the Sharks once more. Matt who stays in to take this one. Works it up the line to Prince. He plays Craig. Now he stays in on it once more. Shrakens one and has space to bear down on goal. But well covered by Brandon who stays in, who got back quickly and prevented the scoring opportunity. Kanani cuts onto the left boot, and that's a po that's a peach of a goal, I should say. Puts it into the bottom corner beyond Hardy's reach, and the WA Eagles take the lead early through Maysam Kanani, one of the trickiest players in the league. Just skipped beyond the defense so nicely and slotted it into Hardy's right-hand corner. 
Amir Fedebegovic, the first sub on now for the Sharks. Brandon who stays in. Basolo on now also. Fedebegovic with a loose pass. Kinani to a shrug in. Oh, Karahuli. Oh, sorry, it's Kinani rather. Now to Tunchi. Looks to get beyond Fedebegovic. This time he does. Shoots toward the near post. Hardy has it covered this time around. Al Korahuli. Bit of a loose pass and possession will change hands. Al Tay Jarja warming up on the WA Eagles touchline. Ash Rousen enters the court for his first minutes off the match also. And his first action will be to take the resulting side ball. Looks for the pivot in of Mia Fedebegovic. It's fallen loose to Bisolu, who roulettes lovely. Rousin, safe down low by Al Muhammad. Kenani slips over, but it makes its way to Ishragin, who slows the game down momentarily. To Tunchi. Calling the play. Al Karahuli on the far side. To Kenani. Back to Al Karahuli. Kanani again. Ishrakin. Poor ball. To Tunchi. Gets there in the end. Al Karahuli. Waiting for Ishrakin's run, but plays to Tunchi with the reverse ball. Kanani stretches to reach it, but can't get there. As Jaja comes onto the court now. The Pivot for the WA Eagles. Fedebegovic touch lets him down. Kanani ball out wide to Ishragin. Back rolls it to Jar Jar who feeds Al Karahuli. Kanani. Jar Jar has Prince to beat. All the way back to Al Karahuli. Finding Ishragin. Now back to Jaja. Al Karahuli. Ball down the line. Looking for the run of Jaja. Who tries to turn beyond Prince. But can't. A sideline ball for the WA Eagles. However though. Al Karahuli's found. The root for the net. And he's doubled the lead for the Eagles. With seven minutes gone on the clock. Good finish there by Zayed as we reset possession, reset play rather with the Scarpa Sharks. Basolu checks in, tr try to connect with Fedebegovic, but just couldn't find him at the end of that pass. Zayed out to Kanani. Takes it down the line, try to find his runner in Hopkins, but just couldn't f connect with him. Kanani hits, try to hit Jarja, but the pass just didn't come off at all what he wanted. Full press call by W Eagles, WA Eagles. Kanani presses Prince, Prince goes long to Fedebegovic as he keeps possession. Back to Basolu, Prince down the line, Rousen looks for the back heel. He did find Prince, but Ball just got caught under his feet and now we have a counter-attacking opportunity from Jar Jar to Hopkins. That is counter-attacking futsal at its finest. Rousen with the back heel to Prince but then intercepted by Kanani and Jar Jar with the beautiful ball right across goal and it found Hopkins at the back post and that will give WA Eagles a 3-0 advantage early in this this first half as Jar Jar had a, gets a foul caught against him on the push of Basolu. Rousen, Basolu, flicks down the line, Feder, Feker, Feder Bekovic try to take on Hopkins, but 
Hopkins said he will not get past as Zayed in possession. Kanani, Hopkins. Back to Zayed. Jar Jar flicks down the line, but no one at the end of that pass, and Hardy will reset the ball. Ustazen down to Basolu. Well defended by well defended by Zayed, but they'll go out for a shark side kick in. Solu out to Ustazen. Rousen. Ustazen. Rousen. Jarja does well, but the ball gets in behind and Al Muhammad does well to clear his lines as Feder Begovic checks out. Basoli with the the shot that just flashed across the goal, but Al Muhammad did well to keep his clean sheet intact. Solo into try to find Craig, but couldn't find him. Basolu. Basolu down to Rousen. Back to Basolu. Who stays in? Try to get that shot, but never going to challenge Al Muhammad. Play short to Kanani. Sharks just sitting halfway at the moment. Letting Eagles keep possession. Basolu's getting frustrated, but well intercepted there by, by Craig, but just couldn't keep it in play. Parry checks in for Kanani. Zayed out to Jarja. Hopkins inside, try to find Jarja, but well intercepted as now Sharks have an opportunity counter attack, but the Eagles got back in numbers and Basolu just chose to reset play. Rousen tries to find Craig. Never going to challenge as Jarja checks out for Tutonchi. Jarja happy with his assist. Tatonchi. Zayed. Uh, to Tatonchi. Tries to take Basolu down the line. Zayed wide to parry. Back to Zayed. Chips it down the line. Rousen does well. Craig keeps possession, but he's dispossessed. Parry was Parry was almost at the end of that one, but just couldn't find the right connection. Rousen does well. Craig to Ustazen, back to Rousen. Rousen tried the trick reading. Get the ball long, but Parry did well to dispossess and out to Hop Hopkins. Zayed to Tatonchi. Takes down Rousen. Rousen does well, stands his ground, but Tatonchi still in possession. Still has the ball out to Hopkins and it hits the frame of the bar. That all came from Mo Tatonchi. Good footwork. Kept standard his stayed on his feet and got it to Hopkins. Craig. Zaya doing well just to defend from behind. Plays out to Rousen. Ustazen. Rousen. Try to flick it to Ustazen. Does well to win the ball back. But Zayed at the back. Guiding that defence always does well. Hopkins. Craig. Resets to Prince. Wide right to Ustazen. Now Rousen goes for the long range effort but... Never going to challenge Al Muhammad in that instance. Ashrakian back on for the Eagles. Al Karaguli. Ashrakian in the middle bounces. Now to Tonchi. Patient build up. 
by the Eagles and now Alcoholi looks to advance to Tonchi, gets beyond Prince nicely, cuts back inside, centering ball, looking for a shrug in, but it was fizzed away by Ralston. Parry, nice ball to find to Tonchi, who parallel flicks it back down the line for Parry. He was caught late there by Craig, a free kick to come for the Eagles. And this one, well within scoring range. An acute angle though, so they will have to muster up a good effort to beat the wall and Hardy. But Shragin is lurking in the centre. Alcarahuli setting him up in position. Alcarahuli to the back post. It's an open goal missed by Tatonchi. And now Sharks are on the break. Craig cleared away by Al Muhammad. He was alert and came off his line well. Rousen, who stays in. Now David Craig, our Prince rather, back down the line to Craig. And Alcarahuli making sure he wasn't going anywhere. Who stays in. Prince has no room to shoot. Poor return ball. Alcarahuli comes away with it. Here's Tristan Parry on the far side. Shoots from range, it's bounced off Hardy. And a shrugging has missed the empty net. A golden opportunity going back in. That should have been four for the Eagles. Who stays in? Kanani looks to intercept the pass, but can't keep it in play. Who stays in? Ball into the pivot's feet. Prince lays it off, who stays in, hacks that up with the toe poke. Hardy lets it run over the touchline. Prince gives that one away, who stays in, not happy with the delivery. Titonchi is shrugging. Shrugging looks to go for a run, tries to get beyond Prince down the wing. But at the number 569, doing his defensive duty as well. Who stays in to Matt? Who stays in? Back to Brandon. Now Prince around the corner. But it's fallen to Tachonchi, who looks to advance. Cuts back inside onto the left. Parry slowing it down for the Eagles. shrugging has got space on the right flank. Looks to dart that one to the back post, but. Prince was in the way. And it will be a sideline ball to come for the WA Eagles. The ball goes up the line to Kenani. Shragin in the middle. To Tatonchi on the far side. The Eagles are playing with confidence. They're moving the ball well. And it's opened up for Parry. Kanani wants to return ball. Nice feet by Parry, still going. And it would have been some goal if he could have found the bottom corner, but that one, unfortunately for the youngster, has gone across the face of the goal. A brilliant run though. Showing the viewers what he's all about, who stays in, hoofs one into the middle. Jar Jar heads clear, gets on it again. Fedebegovic with the challenge, Jar Jar under pressure. Kanani, back to Jar Jar. Cross court ball to Parry. Jar Jar making the forward run. Parry opts to use the shrug in. Bit of an awkward touch. Gets away with it in the end, and Kanani has it now. Jar Jar. Looks to go one on one. Shoots from distance. Hardy saves with the right leg. And a corner to come for the WA Eagles. Tom Lynch on the Sharks touchline has put the card in for the timeout. Kenani, and the ball forward, just missing the target in Omid Ashragin. We'll go to a quick outbreak and be back in just a moment.
welcome back. At the moment, we've got Scarborough Sharks leading three goals to nil. As Feta Begovic almost got to the end of that one. Minute 55 remaining. Hardy out to Basolu. We know how dangerous he is. One on one as Prince looked to find Feta Begovic but just couldn't connect. As Basolu goes for the shot, but. That was never going to challenge our Muhammad in goals. Eagles have been dominant so far this game. Jaja to Kanani. Out to Jaja. Goes back to Kanani. Comes inside. Takes the shot. And that just flashed across goal. Was not far away at all. We're now in stop clock territory. I have to show Sharks would like to get one more one more goal to get back into this game as Jarja comes in the middle. Blocked by Basolu. Jarja with another shot, just going narrowly wide. Hardy out to Ustazen. Goes to Prince, back to Ustazen. Long to Craig, but Hopkins did enough to just get him off balance. Al Muhammad took that kick in, but Hardy collects. Goes long to no one in particular, and Kanani plays Ostragian, who goes back to. Kanani takes on Craig, but Craig does well to clear his lines. Kanani now. So we, we hear John, referee Jonathan Silas frustrated with Kanani. The ball had obviously rolled off the line there, despite complaints. Ashragian into Hopkins. Back to Kanani to Ashragian. Sharks doing well, just tracking the man, but this was good, good ball movement. The Sharks keep possession, 25 left on the clock. Hopkins back to Ashragian. Jarja makes a forward run, 20 seconds left. Ashragian just happy to keep the ball. I'm going to keep the ball, waiting for Sharks to engage the press. Hopkins with an excellent sliding challenge. Didn't let Pasolu get past him and have a chance. Three seconds remaining. You'd have to say they need a shot off here to get anything before the halftime interval. But that'll be all for this first half. Thank you for joining us and we'll be back just after this break.
Welcome back to WA Eagles versus Scarborough Sharks. The first half we saw the Eagles take a 3 0 advantage. They've been playing well, good ball movement, catching out Sharks. We just heard from the half time as Kanani takes the ball down the line. Rousen did well to make sure Kanani didn't do more, but complaints from Thomas Lynch as he think it was his side ball to Tonchi. Brings it inside, Kanani. Good team play there, but Tatonchi just couldn't sort out his feet and get on the end of that ball. Hardy. Down to Fedebegovic. Good hold up play. Solo had made the run initially, and he did check back, but Fedebegovic didn't, just didn't, just didn't realize. Parry. Out to Zayed. To Tonchi. Kanani to Tonchi, to Zayed. The Sharks slowly press up, but that ball down the line to Kanani was good, but Rousen did well to make sure that nothing came of it. Hardy down to Vasolu. He's got two men on him, does well, resets to Rousen. Rousen goes long to Fedebegovic, but Al Muhammad has been exceptional so far this, this game. And coming off his line is Basolu with a. We know how lethal he is on that left boot. Almost caught out Al Muhammad. And he was tracking back to goal. Basolu touches it for Rousen, who, who takes a hit and narrowly wide. Oh. Al Muhammad, you'd have to say, did have that covered, however. Parry brings the ball up to halfway. Zayed out to Kanani. Zayed. Parry. Takes on Rousen and Rousen does well to just see that one out of play. Back to Zayed. Little check inside to Kanani, plays Parry. Parry brings it inside, resets to Kanani. Out to Kanani, to Tonchi. Missed touches and we hear press from the Sharks bench, but Eagles do exceptionally well to keep possession out to Kanani. Sharks get back in numbers, but Zayed with the shot, but Hardy does well to deny him. Basolu takes one down to Tonchi, had that one covered at the back. Who stays in to Rousen. Out to Fe Fedebegovic. Rousen chips it long. Al Muhammad again, well off his line. Parry looked inside. Rousen did well to read that one. Feta Begovic just didn't make that inside run for Rousen, but he still has possession. It was too much. And we can. Referee Johnson Silas says it's a Sharks ball. Fedebegovic did well to make sure he did win possession. Back to Rousen. Into Basolu. Down the line to Ustazen. Parry did well to intercept that one. Sideline ball for the Sharks. Ustazen to Basolu. He shoots from distance. It's blocked by Tatonchi. And a corner to come now. It stays in up the line. Pasolu looks for Fedebegovic, but it rolls underfoot. Al Muhammad will restart play for the Eagles. Drops at the feet of Baka Al Karaguli, who walks the ball toward the halfway line. Now it's Tachanchu. 
Looks to go one on one, tries to get around who stays in, but can't keep it in play. Who stays in, ball in the middle is a poor one. He's given that away cheaply back to the Eagles. And Tristan Parry plays it to Al back to Parry, has Rousen to beat. Cuts inside and shoots, but over the crossbar, high and wide. Ethan Hardy, long throw forward to Craig, who lets the ball ricochet off his thigh with the bad first touch, and it's fallen to Jar Jar. Cuts inside and shoots, it's blocked by Rousen, who's broken away now. Great interception by Alcarahuli to cut out the counter attack. Here he is again, releases to Tonchi, has Parry at the back post. But he's scarred his effort. He'll be disappointed to have not done better there, the youngster. Good counter attack by the WA Eagles, though. And the throw toward Basolu. But he couldn't do much with that one. It wasn't an easy one to control. Alcarahuli. Collects it for the side ball. Malako. Telling the WA Eagles captain to walk that one forward a couple of meters. <laughs> Alcarahuli to Jar Jar, back to Alcarahuli. Looks for the ball over the top to Parry. It's a lovely ball. Parry tries to touch inside. Basolo's pinched it. He stays in. He stays in. Now Craig. Ball inside to Brandon who stays in. Wasn't a good one. Alcarahuli is bursting forward. Here's Tristan Parry. Can he get his name on the score sheet? Parry, well marshaled by the duo of who stays in and Craig, but Craig gives it away. Jar Jar's on it now. Tutu Tonchi. And back to Alte Jar Jar. Alcarahuli. Tonchi. Jar Jar again, bit of a poor pass. Basolu's won it up high, trying to advance beyond Akarahuli. He is drawing the free kick. Akarahuli isn't happy with the decision, but it looked to me like there was just enough in it for the foul to be warranted. Akarahuli did what he had to do though. Jar Jar almost giving away the ball at the halfway line and with Basolu bearing down on goal. He had to put up a challenge and the free kick isn't in the most threatening of positions, to be honest. You tip Muslim Al Muhammad to save anything coming his way from this kind of distance. That's why David Craig is trying to obstruct his view and hope that Basolu can slip one in the gap. Can Massimo Basolu stand tall when his side need him? Three goals down with under 12 minutes to go. Basolu, who stays in to reduce the deficit. He's pulled the shot wide, though. Al-Mohamed, al Kurguli. The game slowed down to a walking pace now. al Kurahuli to Jar Jar. Back to al Kurahuli. The Tunchi has space on the wing. al Kurahuli went for the ball forward to Jar Jar. But Craig cuts it out well. Side ball back with the Eagles. Parry to Tunchi. Tries to go one-on-one, -on -one. ran into a bit of trouble, but got it out to Al Karahuli, who fired the shot on Hardy's goal. And he scrambled it behind for a corner. And so Mitashragin re-entering the field of play. The WA Eagles, number four, Al Karahuli looks for the ball to the back post. Craig, the solo. Jaja with a good piece of defensive acumen to... Cut out the through ball. It's who stays in upfield to Prince. Basolu. Tries to cut inside. Judge Abbas is out of the contest. No foul given. The advantage was allowed to continue. In fact, there was no advantage. Judge going into the book for descent. He believes he was fouled. Jonathan Silas with other ideas. Prince 
Finds Fedebekovic. Looks to turn and shoot. Runs into Jarja. Alkarhuli. Shoots it for uh, Muhammad to collect. Alkarhuli at the back again. He's had a lot of the ball tonight. Baka Alkarhuli dictating the play for the WA Eagles. And he's had a good game so far. Feeds Parry. Parry runs into trouble. But the Eagles will keep the ball. Jarja to the bench. Lloyd Hopkins on. Harry, Al Karahuli, Lloyd Hopkins. Hopkins into the middle, a shrug in around the corner. Besolu, who stays in, looks for the ball through the middle, a shrug in, wins it, cuts inside, looks for the flick, Besolu's on it now. And Basolu trying to skip beyond Ishragin, but to no avail. Ishragin to Parry, cuts in and shoots, blocked by Basolu. Parry with the push. And that one is a foul. Parry comes to the bench, Kanani on. Basolu tries to cut beyond Kanani. It's fallen to Hardy. Hardy blicks it forward to no one in particular. Eshragin to Hopkins in the middle to Kanani. Shifts it out wide to Al Karahuli. Ball over the top looking for Kanani. Couldn't quite latch onto the ball. Maysam Kanani. Ethan Hardy. Long throw forward for Prince. Tries to turn onto the left. But well defended again by Baka Al Karahuli. Ball down the line to who stays in. The solo on the near side. Toe pokes it toward the goal. It's blocked by Shrake in this time around. Brandon who stays in. In fact, it's the solo. He uses Fedebegovic. The solo trying to force her way through. Kanani out wide. Just trickling over the touchline. Bisolu. Cross court ball to Prince. Now Brandon who stays in. Forced back to Hardy. Hardy's ball forward. Couldn't pick out Prince. Rousen comes on for Bisolu. The three early goals from the Eagles are what separates the two sides at the moment. No goal scoring action yet in the second half. A shrug in tries to flick down the line. Fedebegovic blocks well. Restarting play with Kanani out to Ishragin. Back to Kanani. Inside to Hopkins who still has possession. Almost found that back post ball. is chip ball down the run to Rousen but... Zaya did well to make sure Rousen didn't get through. Sharks have done well to get back into this game. But the three goal deficit early from the WA Eagles is what separates them. Six and a half minutes remaining. They're going to have to start taking more of these, these half chances that they're creating. As Amir Fegabedovic went for the block and who stays in, flashes that one wide. Al Muhammad to Kanani, does well to Hopkins. Hopkins outside of the right foot, but Hardy says no. Hopkins down the line to Kanani. Brings it inside, goes for the shot, looking for that top left hand corner, but Flashes over the bar. Hardy to Fegabedovic. Goes long. Prince. He had more time there. Zayed wasn't tracking well as Ashragin's on the ball. As we see Amanda Lynch putting the timeout sheet in for the Scarborough Sharks. We'll see what they 
Collinger up for the final five minutes as it is an Eagles ball. Now Muhammad to Hopkins. Goes long, tries to hit Kanani, but it will roll out for a goal kick and our time that timeout will be played now and three nil deficit and we'll see you just after this break. Welcome back to WA Eagles versus Scarborough Sharks. Four minutes remaining between four timers. We just heard, but here's a shot from Zide, and that was not far away at all. Hardy, as now they set up their fifth man. We heard Thomas Lynch in the timeout setting up. For the final four and a half minutes, try and get something from this game. Out to Basolu. Try to look for the switch, but to Tonchi now is time, and that one just flashes wide. He had more time than he thought. Hardy, long, try to find Prince, but our Muhammad collects. Ashragian, wide to parry, the youngster's been exceptional all game, Ashragian out to Zayed, goes for the block, who stays in tracks, good press there by the Scarborough Sharks, they need to get a, a goal in the next couple of minutes to make this salvageable as Zayed goes long to Tatonchi, he goes down the line but who stays and had that one covered. Inside, Basolu. As they set up the fifth man, Rousen to who stays in. Hear Tom Lynch say, for the Sharks players to get higher. Who stays in to Rousen. Goes long to Prince. And now Mohammed has a chance here on the... On the volley, but just couldn't get that one on target. You hear chatter from the Sharks. Bench wanting to move the ball quicker, work that WA Eagles defense. At the moment, there's been nothing of, of comment to threaten them. Who stays into Rousen, out to Basolu. Inside, tries to hit Hardy, but doesn't come of anything. We hear full press from the Sharks. The space in behind. They go to Zayed, goes out to Muhammad. Good composure to break the press here, but Basolu, he's going for the finish, but Zayed gets back. Zayed gets back well. They think it's a handball, but it hit the shoulder. He'd done well to get back, but then the ball just scuffled down to hit his shoulder and appeals from the Scarborough Sharks bench. Referee says no. Eagles in possession. You'd have to say that chance would have had to 
Go in the back of the net from Basolu. Maybe get a bit more power on it. If they were going to have a chance, only 90 seconds. And I have seen crazy things in futsal, but you have to say it's a mountain to climb. As now Basolu is having an argument with referee Gabriel Malaku. And for his efforts, he gets himself a yellow card for descent. Massimo is not happy with the referee's decision of the foul and the descent call. There's a bit of confusion here by the, the referees. And now Basolo has gotten himself a second yellow card and he's been dismissed. A double, double descent. Shakes the hands as of the WA Eagles bench, but two descent yellow cards there by Basolo. Maybe things didn't go his way, but he didn't have to take it out on the referees. I know he was frustrated. And now this game has definitely gotten too far away of the Scarborough Sharks tonight. 3-0 deficit now down. Basolu, who's been one of their more threatening players to Tonchi in the middle. There was no one at back post, so he went for the shot and it shaves the side bar. As now the Sharks set up their fifth man, Rousen. Who stays in? Wide to Rousen. Down the line to Prince. Try to cut it back to either Hardy or who stays in but couldn't connect with either of them. 52 seconds remaining. Hardy resets to stays in. To Rousen. Goes for the hit. The ball was dipping. He says it's been touched but referee says no and the Eagles will retain possession. 40 seconds remaining in this contest. It's been a very, very solid performance from the WA Eagles tonight. They have been tested but the defence has stood strong and they've been clinical in front of goals. As now the Sharks set up their fifth man trying to get a consolation goal. Madhu stays in to his brother. Brings it inside. Out to Rousen. Goes across but now it's going to be a foot race. Can the Shragian get there? The Shragian got there but just missed the target. Rousen came sliding in behind, but no foul, says the referee. Prince comes in, back to Hardy. Resets to Rousen. Goes for the pass to Prince. Cuts it back. Jar Jar went for the shot. Seven seconds remaining. Clock has stopped. Can they get a consolation goal? Hardy goes long. Three seconds remaining. Jar Jar goes for the hit and that will be all that she wrote for this contest WA Eagles 3 Scarborough Sharks 0 thanks and we'll see you for the next one